Hello everyone, the Green Man Bookseller here. I've got some new stock, so I thought I'll do a little video just to show you what the new books are that I've got in. I'm doing the filming upstairs in my bedroom purely because I've got the tumble dryer going on downstairs and I thought I don't want to do recording down there because there'll be a lot of noise interference from the tumble dryer, so that's why I'm upstairs. So just to get away from the noisy tumble dryer a bit. But anyway, let's show you what books I've got. Well, this is just some of the books I've ordered. I've got some more on the way. Uh, coming in, yeah, the, my order I put in is coming in in two sections. So this is what's come so far. So we've got this one, Mysteries of Stonehenge. As you can see, it's a nice big book. Very nice and chunky. What's that there? £25. But it's got some nice good little sections. Oh, try and do this one handed. Uh, so like, as you can see, some interesting chapters. That's quite an interesting little read. I'll probably have a little read of a copy myself. See what it's like. We've got another another hardback here. The Last Witch Craze by John Aubrey. Um, what is it? It was a uh, uh, back in the sixteen hundreds. So he's he used to go out trying to get witches and all the rest. Oh, there you go. Last Witch Craze tells the story of these men and others who attempted to reconcile science and sorcery. Oh, yeah. Oh, we had a magical note. So John Aubrey's magical notebook survives in the archives of Oxford University. Now, I wouldn't be at all surprised if there's like some facsimiles of his notebook. Like sort of copies. Well, I have to have a look at that. See if there is some kind of a, like copies of his notebook that you can buy online or something like that. I have to have a little look out for that. But anyway, yeah. So that's on the last, last witch craze. Paranormal Cornwall. This is just a book on various sort of. Um, ghost stories of round Cornwall. Oh, if I get to the yeah. Oh there, uh, Bodmin jail there, yeah, that's gotta be in there in Bodmin Mall. Yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. Well I have ordered some more books in the um, paranormal series. They're coming in the second batch of orders. So, what else? I've ordered Paranormal Devon or Paranormal Somerset. I think I've ordered Paranormal Dorset. I think I've ordered Paranormal Bath. I'm trying to do this from memory, but I've ordered Paranormal Wiltshire, if I remember rightly, I've ordered. Let's so, say, yes. So, they, I said, I've got a couple of copies of this for the moment. But there'll be some more books in the paranormal series arriving. All right now we've got here another book which book about witches. Witch Hunt by David and Andrew Pickering. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all about the Praise of witch hunting and all the rest. Hmm. So that should be a interesting little look. Well, yeah, I've got all the different places. All right, what's all right? So that's ten ninety nine. Actually, I didn't show the price on that one. What's that on the back? 
that's a 15.99 for paranormal corn what there you go strange victoriana well that is going to be an interesting book as you can see from the front cover what's it the dog-faced man and his son uh, i mean <sighs> As you can see from the back, yeah, it's all sort of taken from the Illustrated Police News articles about that. Now that sounds interesting. Look, the rat killing monkey of Manchester goes on a rampage in the rat pit, swinging a hammer. <laughs> that's a twelve ninety nine book. But I mean that. <laughs> that's going to be a. Uh, Really interesting little book to read. Oh. Come on, if I can uh, get the the contents paid. So you've got look at that medieval freaks, hermits, and misers, ghosts, dogs, animals, strange perform, and uh, misty So this is yeah. Uh... Oh, <laughs> Birmingham midget. Are you allowed to use the word midget nowadays? I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. The strange death of the Earl of Lauderdale. So, oh. Oh. What have you got here? A strange case of Bolton and Park. So, oh, that's going to be an interesting little book. Then you've got the magical history of Britain. There you go, British history. So it traces the influence of magic and myth from the earliest times to the present day. So press on the back on that one, that's a 10.99 one. So this is uh, tracing the history of magic. It's the contents page. And the cold. Mists of Avalon. Good old Glastonbury. Good old, got, yeah, you've got, got to have Arthur in there, haven't you? Now, here, I've got a, a couple of books on Robin Hood. A couple of copies of each book. Uh, this particular book by John Matthews. For this one explores the mythology of Robin Hood rather than concentrating on the human identity of the famous outlaw. It ties Robin to the ancient archetypes of the Green Man, lore and legend of the fairy race, possibly some influences. Uh, so that looks. Uh, the mythology of Robin Hood. Oh well, I think it's ten ninety nine. Green Hill with Robin Hood being dance. So that. Where is this one by David Baldwin? This one looks into. Who he was. Sets out to find the real Robin Hood. Looking for clues in the earliest ballads and in official and legal documents of the 13th and 14th century. So there you go. So that's, that's the difference between the, book, the two books. This one's looking at the mythology of Robin Hood. This one's trying to find out who he really was. Well, that's a 10.99 one. What I'm thinking I might do, I might do an offer on these two. If you buy one of each, I could do it at a discount, some kind of a discount price. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. Uh, but the ten ninety nine a copy, might have to do a, might to, I think I might do some kind of a, an offer if you buy 
by the two together. So there you go. So that's just those ones. So there you go. That's some of the new stock that I've recently ordered that arrived yesterday. I'm hoping in the next day or two the rest of my order will arrive because I'm obviously back out and about next week selling. So if the rest of my order can arrive in time for then, that'll be a good thing. It should do, should do. In theory it should, post permitting. But at least I've got those eight bucks ready. So yes. Well guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Look forward to hopefully seeing you all at some point soon. And in the meantime, stay safe. Happy reading.